Ah, the land of online art discourse, filled with good-natured intentions and productive outcomes. Recently, a certain art style has found itself in hot water. The art style in question? Jelly art style. Jelly art style is an art style that encompasses a soft, jelly-like appearance. Characters are often seen having very plump lips, big expressive watery eyes, a frick ton of highlights, a neutral almost melancholic tone to their expressions, and almost every single one of these characters have a highly visible agio cell, which I think is quite an interesting characteristic. Honestly, these art styles really remind me of ball jointed dolls and faces those dolls have usually. So what is the big deal here? Basically, it all began when the user Puriri Puririka Puririka the user Puririka Puririka on TikTok created a draw this in your style. I will call them Riri from now on. Many people participated in this. However, tensions arose when an artist who participated in the challenge recreated the art in a strikingly similar fashion. This did not make Riri happy. They then called them out to their large TikTok following. The situation further escalated when it was revealed the individual who was called out for tracing was a minor, while Riri is 18. And then people sort of began dogpiling on the entire art style, just outright saying it's bad and terrible. I think this situation brings about a really interesting conversation. That being, when is the line drawn between being inspired by an artist and outright copying them. Well, to begin, I think context matters here. Riri has made tutorials which is outright inviting individuals to be inspired by and recreate their art techniques. This just flat out contradicts their bio asking people to not use their art for inspiration. But this could also come down to English not being their first language. I'm not really sure. Now, I'm mutuals with Riri on TikTok. I was mutuals before I found out about this controversy. I only just found out about this. I'm not really in the loop of all the drama happening on art TikTok. And I plan on continue following them just because I think their art style is really pretty. Though I am not a fan of how they went about the situation, it definitely does not come across as the most likable approach to outsiders looking in. So I can see why people haven't been that supportive of them, as they can come off as a bit abrasive. Now, this is by no means a new conversation to be had. Ever since the creation of art, people have been using each other's art for reference. It's how you build your own art style. Everyone's art style is sort of amalgamation of all the things that they have absorbed into their brains. Each unique little characteristic you find that you like of someone else's art style, you sort of incorporate that into your own art, right? I myself have and am actively using others' art styles to inspire my own, as well as have been told many times before by people that they are using my art as inspo. And I personally am very much on board with that because I don't know, it just makes me feel good, I guess. Sort of comes back to that uh, imitation is the highest form of flattery phrase, but that comes across as a little. I, I find it cool that people like my art enough to be inspired by it so much that they would like to recreate it and I welcome that with open arms and I encourage people to tag me when they are inspired by my art because I just love seeing it. Now I personally like the jelly art style because as I said earlier it reminds me a lot of ball jointed dolls which I have loved since I was a kid. Though it does sort of get old fast since all the faces, poses and just general tone of each art piece I see in the jelly art style tends to be quite similar. That's sort of to be expected. I find it to be quite interesting when a controversy occurs. It sort of opens up the floodgates and all of a sudden everyone hates the art style. Whereas five minutes ago everyone loved it. This is not exclusive to art. This happens within any sort of hobby community. The one that sticks out to me is music. I'm sure you can think of a musician who was popular and well-loved one minute, then did something undesirable in the court of public opinion, and then was immediately coined as untalented and suddenly everyone hates the genre of music they were producing. And as for the allegations being made about this situation, 
They are just getting increasingly more wild and unhinged, and I don't really think it's worth bringing it up because they seem relatively unsubstantiated and just ridiculous. Ultimately, I think the whole drama was blown out of proportion because this art style tends to bring in a younger demographic, and of course, because of that, it is more likely to divulge into something like this than having a mature and structured conversation. My advice to artists who are gaining recognition is to just embrace people being inspired by your art. It will save you a lot of stress and headache to not be worrying about this and trying to police how other people express their artistic ideas. Because even if you say to people to not be inspired by it, people are still going to, especially if you are making tutorials, unless you just do not post anything publicly. The inherent nature of sharing art online encourages this culture of learning off each other and garnering inspiration from your fellow artists. And I think in the time of AI that us genuine artists should be supporting each other much more strongly instead of seeing each other as competition and being territorial over a thing that is pretty hard to police and monitor. But yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and please consider subscribing if you're into art commentary and tutorials. Bye bye!